Hello, CIS 110 students. This is Miss Lawson, and I hope you all are doing well, and washing your hands and keeping your distance from other people. Now, because of unusual circumstances, we will not have face-to-face -face classes, so we're going to be meeting online. So what that means is that whatever day of the week and what, whatever time that you normally come to a classroom, either on campus or I come to you at the City College, I will be online, I will be live, and I will be conducting the class just like I was in the classroom with you. So whatever time you have your class during the week, you will need to set that time aside to go to your computer and log in and actually join our class. So how do you do that? We're going to use something called Blackboard Collaborative, and that will allow all of you guys to um, join a session. And um, I will be, I will be in the session. Um, I will be going over your assignments, um, showing you how to do certain things, and you have the opportunity to ask questions just like you were in the classroom. So I'll be in class. We just won't be physically next to each other or physically in the class together. So I thought I'd make this short video to show you how to um, log into a session and to join it. Um, I have a couple classes on Monday, so if you have me on Monday, you guys are going to be the first one that get to try this. This is new to me. I have been a student in a session like this, but I've never been the instructor. So some things might not go well, but you know, we have to adapt to the situation. So I thought I would do this short video so you could see how to join the session come Monday or Wednesday whenever you have me. So if you scroll down on your um, Moodle page, you will see a purple box with um, arrows in it. So next to that purple box, there will be a link. So I made this link today it's just called CIS 110 for training purposes but it'll probably say CIS 110 Excel model 2 Excel test PowerPoint 1 etc depending on what the assignment is so this is just a demonstration on how to join the session today but that's what you need to look for the the purple box with the arrows in it so I'm going to click on that and it's going to carry me to the um page where I join the session. Now each week it's going to look a little bit different, but the only thing you have to remember is that you're going to click on the green box to join the session. Now I will be in the session. I will be live. Um, you won't see me, but you'll hear me. I won't see you. I won't hear you unless you have a question and you want to use your microphone to communicate with me. But we'll all be on the same, we'll all be on the um, collaborating at the same time. Now, I'm, on, I'm not on a high-speed internet connection, so mine takes a little while to load. Um, don't be concerned if it takes a while for yours to load because there's a lot of things that it has to download in the background, so just give it time. You can actually uh, log in five minutes before the session actually begins. So let's say that you have me on Mondays from 9 to 10.30. If the session begins at 9, you can actually join this session like I'm doing right now at 5 minutes to 9. You can't do it at 10 minutes to 9, only 5 minutes before the session is supposed to begin. Okay, so you'll come to this screen. Now, I am a moderator, so my screen might look a little bit different than yours, but the basics are the same for everyone. Um, so right now it says that I'm the only one in the room. That's because I am the only one in the room. When you log in and join the session next week, you will see how many other people are in the room, as well as I will be in the room as the moderator. So down at the bottom, it says my status and settings. You should see a green checkbox on that. The microphone has a line through it because you do not want to have any audio on. If you wanted to talk to me, you would click on this microphone and you could ask me a question. But everybody needs to mute their microphone during the sessions because if you don't, we're going to get the feedback from all those microphones. So 
if I tell you to mute, mute your microphone, that's where you'll do it at. Um, this is the video, the webcam. Now, you won't see me, uh, probably, unless I choose to do a session where I need to see you. But you'll hear me, but you won't see me. Um, I don't need to see you. I just need to know that you're in the class, in the session or the classroom. So you want to make sure that this is um, this has a line through it. So this box right here allows you to ask a question. So you can click on it, raise your hand to ask a question. Now, um, how do you ask a question? Okay, up here at the bo at the bottom right, there's a purple box with arrows in it. So if you open that, that's your um, collaborative panel. Okay, and right here at the bottom, um, you need to click on the chat so that this little balloon shows up. Okay, right here it shows who's in attendance, and I am the only one in attendance. But when class is um, in session, you may see, well, hopefully you'll see everybody in your class, but you should see names as so you'll know who else is in the classroom at that time. Um, you don't have to worry about the share content nor the setting option right now, but if you want to say something, you can say, um, you just type it in the chat box, I have a question. Now, I'm not worried about punctuation, don't worry about all that. Um, you don't have to capitalize, but if you have a question, you just um, type in the, in the um, chat box, and it'll show up up here that Kim Lee Lawson has typed in, I have a question. So when I see that, I will stop what I am doing, and you will type the question in, in the chat, what is a formula, for example. And again, you don't have to do the question marks, and it looks like I spelled that wrong, too. But um, once you type it in, just press enter, and it'll move up the box. Now, other people will be able to see your um, questions or any comments that you have. You can actually comment to another person in the session. Everything that you type in the chat box, however, everyone will see. So um, that's basically how it works. Now, what you're going to see over here um, during the session is going to be my screen. So my screen is going to be maybe a PowerPoint or maybe an Excel document or something like that. Um, you will see that over there on the left of the screen. Okay. So the main thing to remember is join the session during the time that is offered. Make sure your microphone is um, not open. And then to ask questions, you can just you just type it in the chat box. Now, I'm going to um, upload this video. If any of you have a question, a specific question, contact me through email. Uh, let me show you one more thing before I go. Um, I forgot about this. Um, every every um, instructor that is conducting a class online, like the majority of us are, um, we have created, let me go up here and be a student so you don't see all the stuff that I've got on there. Um, we created a section, um, like a help section, if you need help. So there's an option in Moodle that is the virtual help section. So um, you can actually make an appointment with me if you want a one-on-one -on -one live collaborative, collaborative session. You can either ask me through email, um, or you can do it during chat. Ms. Lawson, I'd like to um, have a session with you from 11.30 to 12 on Tuesday. Um, email, if you run into problems with any of the assignments that you had, I can often make a video to show you how to fix an issue that you have, or if it's um, like if you need to fix your your assignment from the reports, I can often do that, just create a little short video and send it to you. Now the Nash Community College, College Library is going to be open. Um, they'll have designated computers available if you do not have a computer and or internet access. I think I remember in an email from the college it gives specific hours, so you might want to check 
your emails or, or call the college what time that somebody will be there. Now, um, I think all of you have access to Office, but if you don't, you can actually install Office 365 at home for free. We talked about this the first day of class, but in case you forgot, um, you can you go to this link right here. You'll use your Nash Community email address and your password to access the software. Now, this is not a trial um, version of the software. It is the, the whole version of Office, and it's free as long as you are enrolled at um, Nash Community College. Okay, I think that I think that does it for um, today. This was just a short video to show you how to access the live sessions. So I will see most of you on Monday. I'll see a few of you on Wednesday. If you have any questions, be sure to get in contact with me. Thanks.